We're right here in Dwarka at the office of none other than Mukul Malik, Asset Yogi. He's a financial influencer you've all heard of and have been tracking his YouTube videos for a very long time. Mukul, great to have this uh, chance to actually come here and see you at work. <laughs> Thank you for having me and, uh, you know, covering our space as well. <laughs> so what a journey. Tell our viewers, yeah. you know, is this the you know, the, the quintessential dream that everyone imagines, the overnight success, you know, becoming uh, a success as an influencer, getting, you know, enormous views, followers, and, and creating a living, uh, you know, through this profession. Did it really happen like that for you, or was it actually a lot of work behind the scenes? No, absolutely not. I mean, it was uh, probably eight-year overnight success. Okay. Yeah, so it took about eight years to reach here, and uh, it did not start uh, with just YouTube. I had my website. I started blogging initially. Okay. Wanted to share my knowledge with people. You know, I had a couple of legal cases going on. Okay. Right. So I was investing. I was investing in uh, stocks, real estate everywhere, but primarily in real estate initially. Okay. Right. So I had uh, these legal legal cases going on. So I thought, you know, uh, people should not be getting into my situation. Right. Okay. Right. So uh, that's how it started. Started publishing content on the website. Okay started getting traction mm -hmm. but then uh, you know in 2016 i realized that you know geo became big data became very cheap mm -hmm. so i thought you know why not try videos right so that's when uh, i kind of experimented with videos initially and uh, when when i saw that you know a lot of tech youtubers uh, were coming up so i thought you know maybe people would be interested interested in uh, finance videos also okay. probably this is the right yeah. time yeah. so i started publishing i never knew that you know people will watch it Right. But started getting traction initially, right? So, but then, uh, you know, once I started getting thank yous mm -hmm. of people, you know, it was really changing their lives. So, that's when, you know, it uh, motivated and I kept publishing. Money was not coming. Right. <laughs> but that took a but while. That took a while. Uh, so, uh, for almost a year, I kept publishing with almost negligible money. Yeah, yeah parallelly doing stuff uh, to make ends meet. So that's how it started. So what do you think, uh, you know, people were drawn to? You know, was it that, as you said, you were using your personal experiences, they felt they could relate to you? Uh, you know, was there any question around uh, credibility or how you got your information as the videos possibly became more and more complex or detailed? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. See, I mean, credibility comes from two things. One is your knowledge. I mean, if you have educational background to support it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have done my MBA in finance. Yes. And I had, uh, uh, you know, even uh, worked in finance, in corporate finance. So that gave the credibility okay. from the knowledge part of it. Right. And then uh, your experience adds to the credibility, right? Whether the opinion, whatever you are sharing is right. honest, whether you, I mean, you will not be able to share the experience just based by on your readings only, right? You will have to really experience it and you can make out, you know, whether somebody has really experienced it or uh, whether he's just, uh, uh, you know, talking about the red stuff. So that's how I think uh, it differentiated and kind of connected with the audience also. You know, people felt the pain. I mean, I was sharing my pain. Right. <laughs> I had gone through those uh, pains yeah. uh, and, you know, made losses. Then uh, I started making profits. So, I mean, why not? I mean, every investor's journey is same. You know, right. make losses initially as a newbie. Mm -hmm. Then you start making uh, profits eventually. Amazing. So I yeah. think, you know, everybody must learn finance. It should be like a language skill. True. I absolutely agree with you. So today, what are some of your um, thoughts when it comes, or mantras when it comes to finance, investing? Uh, you know, you are a proponent of long-term value investing. You know, what's the philosophy that broadly you kind of build around when it comes to your content? See, yes, uh, I'm a proponent of long-term investing yeah. uh, for the majority part uh, of anybody's net worth, right? But I'm not against trading okay. or for uh, short-term investing. Sure. But yes, I mean, 90% of your wealth should be invested for long term. Okay. Even the biggest of traders will never invest all of their net worth, you know, and uh, probably use it only for trading. Okay. So they will be trading, but they, I mean, trading is for understanding the markets, what is happening, sure. right? Long term basically creates wealth. Long term investing creates wealth. So, I mean, that is what I basically propose. I mean, and uh, I cover in all my videos and... Uh, also, we not only cover just the investment part of it. I try to cover every aspect of finance that a layman should know. Right. Whether it, uh, it is about loans, whether what is happening in the economy, you know, yeah. whatever basic concepts you should know about economy and finance. So, we try to cover all those concepts. And what are the questions that you get? What are people responding to the most or what do they want to know the most? Is it just, uh, you know, sort of as you said, the simple... 
uh, basic knowledge or is it more detailed as to should I even get into the markets right now? What should I invest yes, in? Yes, yes, absolutely. Know? All sorts of questions. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, right from uh, whether this is the right stock to buy, okay. although we don't recommend stocks. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, stock market is the uh, most uh, sought after topic right now. Mm -hmm. Right, and maybe markets are rising, and that is when the interest is yes. also high. Always, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, uh, sometimes I uh, worry also that uh, so many investors are coming up, and uh, sure. Sure. but I feel that you know everybody must get the education first, right, before investing too much money. Right. Yeah. Right. So, are markets the best uh, asset class to invest in right now versus realty, Bitcoin? What's your take? See, I mean, that's a very good question, first of all. Uh, yes, I think most of the people would say that, you know, equities are best. Yeah. But I am a kind of a person who says that flexible investing is the best. Okay. You must be flexible, right? So if you feel that this is not the right time, if you're not comfortable with the markets right yeah. now or the market situation yeah. right now, and if you feel that reality is the best option right now, you can probably invest there also. Okay. There is absolutely no problem. Okay. Right. So you must basically every year... You know, see that where is the best place for my money to go every year. I mean, the pro portfolio must be churned every year. How interesting. Okay, and what is a realistic multiplication of wealth, let's say over three years? See, every year, if you can multiply your wealth by 15%, okay. right, you are in uh, good shape, I think. Okay. Yeah, 15% is a very good, uh, reasonable return that you can expect from the markets overall and Overall portfolio, if your overall portfolio is growing at, say, 11-12%, mm. then also you are in good shape. Okay. Which means, including your real estate, I mean, everybody will purchase at least yeah. a house, yeah. right? And maybe some uh, other real estate investment, maybe a rental property mm. or whatever. And then you are investing in stocks, then you are investing in gold, mutual yeah. funds. If your overall portfolio is yes. giving you 11-12%, then you are in good shape. Okay. What about uh, your own business? Uh, how does uh, how does it work, or what is it driven by? Is it largely vis-a-vis uh, -vis brand endorsements, ads? Are you looking at new sources of revenue? Uh, I know we were discussing a few things before we started recording, but anything that you are okay to share in terms of yeah, sure. I mean, see, uh, the business has evolved, right? So when it started, it was uh, zero money, right? From right. YouTube or from from whatever we are doing full time right, right now. So uh, I was doing consulting parallelly, you know, uh, consulting yeah. startups. Then uh, we started getting YouTube ads. Yeah. So that became, you know, primary source for some time. Then we started getting sponsorships. Right. That also added up to the revenue, mm. right? Now we are testing out with financial advisory okay. as a pilot project. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So testing out a couple of things and uh, trying out uh, to build, you know, uh, an app. Also, but uh, that is also in uh, stealth mode right okay. now. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for sharing that with us. Uh, something that everyone's going to look forward to. Any tips uh, for some of our viewers who are probably uh, looking to become influencers themselves uh, or, you know, looking to perhaps um, understand better how to manage the online world? Any kind of um, hints or tips you want to leave them with? See, I think uh, if you if you are comfortable with any domain, I think you should be talking about that. Okay. You know, not just copy, you know, if somebody has succeeded in something mm. and you just try to copy, probably you will not succeed. Sure. Only, I mean, do it only when you are comfortable and, you know, you really like sharing that uh, about it, you know. So that is very, very important and honest opinions, right? So, I mean, uh, not just, uh, you know, just because somebody has said that, you should also say it. Right. Okay, and how many videos do you shoot in a week or in a day or what? We are doing like? uh, we are doing about five to six uh, videos uh, in a month right okay. now, okay. but uh, would like to increase that uh, once we have you know other stuff going on. Okay, you know what? Once uh, the app is ready, then we will be probably doing it more. All right, so lots to watch out for. Mukul, thanks for joining us, and I can see with the entire team here that they're definitely prepping for a lot more content in time to come. Thanks so much for joining us.